Welcome to tonight's episode of Beyond Focus TV. I'm Lydia Patel, and as always, I have a very special guest for you, Colin McCook, who's the CEO of Just Yuppie LLC. He'll be with us for the next 30 minutes, so stay with us. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. Beyond Focus TV allows you to discuss contemporary topics affecting the Caribbean people on both the national and local level. The show features informed guests who offer insight, debate, and evaluate various issues. Beyond Focus TV builds on the station's mission to provide useful information to the Caribbean people in New York and abroad. Beyond Focus TV, where our viewing audience can get educated, informed, and empowered. Welcome back. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. I'm Lydia Patel. Like I said, I have a very special guest for you, Mr. Colin McCook, CEO of Just Yuppie LLC. So welcome to the program. Welcome. Thank you. It's great um, to have you here. Um, I'm happy to be here. Well, you know what? Let's get straight into it. You know, I love the name, Just Yuppie. Kind of has so many different meanings. Um, <laughs> before you even get into all that, who is Colin McCook? Um, first of all, I'm a dad. Mm -hmm. um, I, got, I have three boys, and Just Yuppie is a, a part of something that I created for my kids, um, something that later on we can pass on to, um, to, to our um, generations, and... Um, Hopefully, we can actually be a big success. That is, that's great. You know, you created a legacy. Just decided to put your little piece of the pie. It's black owned. We love that. That's one of the things we actually strive to support. Um, because there's, there really isn't, it's, it's getting better. But, you know, it used to be a bit of a challenge, <laughs> you know, to have everyone support their own. True. Um, so we all have to kind of come together on that. So what is Just Yuppie? Just Yuppie, it's a social media um, advertising company. Um, for, um, we have uh, e-commerce sites and also we have um, up and coming rap battle sites and we also have um, also other e-commerce sites and also an auction house. So, and one of the things that we try, we're gonna be doing um, our best to promote is rap battles and also um, if you got a brand, mm -hmm. we want you to, to um, sign up with us for our membership are free and one of the good things about it is that um I, when we advertise we advertise for all, all our vendors and we also promote them on, on twitter also oh that's pretty good so then basically an advertisement with you is actually going to be beneficial to all your clients so they come on board and they get to see themselves advertised as well which is great we we help them um with business um decisions like for example um we, we have them um, advertise on social media, give them tips um, of the trade that we've learned also, and um, so that so that they can understand how to advertise on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and all the different social medias. That is great. So what would you say overall is the mission of Just Yuppie? The overall mission of, of um, Just Yuppie is to have the number one e-commerce site. Um, I know that Amazon is pretty much number one right now, but I think that in a year or two, we should be number one. That's pretty good, and that's <laughs> a hefty decision to actually, it's a great to, to have goals, you know, and not saying it's not realistic, it actually could happen because there's a lot, competition has been fierce, and even Amazon knows within themselves, you know, yes, you've sustained, you've become a great platform, but if you don't maintain, People are always looking for the next best thing. That's true. And one of the things that with our e-commerce e sites, um, marketplaces, we also have, we have physical and digital. So as a label, you can advertise with us. You can, you can sell your music, DVDs, movies. If you have independent um, f um, movies and everything like that, you can also advertise with us too. And if you're into web development, you, we have the perfect home for you. You can get to create... Um, website themes, templates, and you can sell it for your price. That's a really, really good. Like right now, the, the wheels in my head are turning because um, digital space and all that stuff is so important. Websites, and it's a lot of people need that. This is something that's almost like the norm. You have to have this for your business. There's certain tools that just automatically, you have to have a really good website, but ab above that, you really need to have good social because social media I, I know for me personally, before I purchase anything, I go and check their, I, I check their, I go check your IG, I go check your Facebook, but more so the Instagram, 
True. See what's on there. See the products. See the, what you know how people are interacting with everything. Um, so that's pretty good. So how did this all get started? When did you decide to actually come together? It's three partners. It's three. Um, we we're, we're gonna actually be the first company to actually have three CEOs. Um, we decided to go that route because of the fact that we know that because of health, um, financial financial issues, or just whatever, there's times when you're gonna be busy, or you can be busy with the family, or there's illness. For example, my partner Sydney, um, Arnold Sydney, his wife is going through some illness right now, so he's unable to be with me tonight. But we also have um, Kevin Reeves, which is um, another Capricorn like myself, mm -hmm. and. We, we actually all met at the UN, United Nations. Um, we all worked there. Kevin and I still, Kevin and I still do. Um, Sydney, no, he no longer, no longer worked there, but um, we, keep to get, we keep in touch and make sure that we up to date with all the goals. Wow, so you said the United Nations. So that's actually a pretty <laughs> cool job to have. Um, it puts you in access with a lot of great people. It gives us uh, access to a lot of d um, different networks. Um, for example, India, um, Spain, diff different things. Um, so over the years, over the time that we've been there, we've been able to, like I said, build a network um, so that when, we, when, it, when it comes to down to the time that we actually need it, we actually have a network that we can fall back on. Absolutely, and that's how you should do it. Um, but how has that transition, um, of course you're still there, but building your own? It's, it's something that I always wanted and I, I think it was January, like my last birthday, which was January the 13th last year. Mm -hmm. I said to myself, you know what, I feel like my life was just going in a circle. I was working for companies. I was there for X amount of years. And then at the end of the day, when it came down to cutting employees and, and cutting back on expenses, you're always up in the air for like, hmm, I could lose my job today. And, th and there's mm -hmm. no job security. Absolutely. So that was a little bit of an eye-opener for you where you decided, you know what, it's probably time for me to do my own, focus on my own. Um, you've put in the time, you know what to do. Um, for me, be probably before Just Yuppie, we created that. Um, I worked for Chase for about 17 years. And it was, it was, it was fun. I, I got to meet a lot of people, um, build my network, and also... Um, it was it was it was good. Um, I thank Chase for la letting me go because I think that if I was still there today, that I would never think about mm -hmm. having my own company. Mm -hmm. And the funny thing is, it's you're not the only entrepreneur I've interviewed and had them all say something similar. Where it was them getting let go from their corporate job, true, that really gave them that push and. I'm a very big believer in sometimes, you know, when God closes a door, but he's not really closing the door. He's opening a new he's door. He's opening a new door. <laughs> he's opening a door and a window because sometimes you just needed that push. If you if that didn't happen, you get comfortable. You get complacent. You just stay in that one rhythm, and then you probably wouldn't have taken that leap. So it's true. It's definitely worth it. Well, we're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, we're going to definitely focus on a couple of topics, you know, what Just Yuppie does, a few other things. So stay with us. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. We'll be right back. you're watching Beyond Focus TV, I'm Lydia Patel. So Colin, before we took a break, you know, we're just talking about, you know, how you got let go from Chase, and that really kind of gave you that push that you needed to decide to start Just Yuppie. But when you started it initially, how far is how Just Yuppie is now to the original concept? When I started last year, January, it was just a, a concept. Um, it wasn't until like, what, summertime like around june july that actually it, it started to gain the momentum where every the, the site was being put together 
funds was being raised um, from different um, invest investors that came in along with us, mm -hmm. and um, but everything never took off until some summertime, and then once once that happened, like I said, we were introduced to. I was introduced to Calvin and um, and Sydney, and Sydney is an is an is an actor. So his with his connection and everything, it actually got everything up and going. That is pretty good. So now you're three people, and like you said, three CEOs. And I don't think I've interviewed anyone <laughs> who actually. Usually there's a CEO, a CFO, a chair, three CEOs. Yes. So that's something very unique about your company. Um, but of course, you know, we're, we're going through, it's 2018. What are some of the overall plans that you could kind of share with us that you would ideally like to see happen for this year? For 2018, um, definitely we'll be looking for, we're looking for vendors, we're looking mm -hmm. for manufacturers. Um, if you have a, a new product, even if you have a Shopify account, we want you to get on board and we want you to sell your brand on our site. Like I said, we're the cheapest in the industry. We're only 3%. And to me, 97% in, um, profit is pretty good to me. Absolutely. Because even for us, if you try to sell something on eBay or Amazon, we, the person selling it, do have to take a fee. Yeah. Which is understandable, but it's a much larger fee than 3%. And the, one of the good things, too, is that we charge 3%. We do not charge for... Then put your product into the system. Everything is free. Membership is free for now. Um, as we build our 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 platform and we build our our five other um, platforms, um, that's when we probably introduce our membership, which is the nine ninety nine, and you get to use all all five um, platforms. That is pretty good. You know, for nine ninety nine, really isn't much. No, money is pretty cheap. If you think about go. The snacks that you buy from the corner store or, or whatever, it's, it's pretty, much next, pretty much nothing. Literally, I just had that conversation the other day with someone who was debating about taking out renter's insurance. And I was like, I think you definitely should have renter's insurance, mm -hmm. especially after what happened in the Bronx and the fires. It's just, I'm like, you know what? It's always better to take that extra caution. And they were like, yeah, it's only like $13. I'm like, anyone who works in the city knows that $13 is basically lunch <laughs> for one day. One day. Okay, if it's going to cost you $13 for one month, <laughs> go ahead and do it. Because it's going to give you that peace and security. And exactly what you said, you know, you spend that on food. $10, and this will give you the opportunity to be have five different platforms. Yes. And what would those platforms be doing specifically? One would be uh, auction house. The other we we'd have three other e-commerce um, marketplaces where you can sell your products, and also the third one would be um, a search engine. Basically, a search engine that allows you our vendors be advertise their products, and when they type in a search, where it can be a simple thing as a uh, TV, our vendors always come up um, to the top. So we made sure that we advertised for every, all our business and we had them to take their business to the next level. So that's some really good SEO team that you have working in there. Pretty good. It's, um, we have a marketing team that we're working with now, and they're going to push um, our, e our SEO. Um, this what? SE SEO. And um, they're going to push it to the next level for us. Now, that's something that people usually write in about. How do you... Is it through search engine optimization that you, when you go on to Google and you type in a name that allows your business to yes. be in the top? And is that something people could pay for? Could you pay to have your company sh show up at the top? Um, with our own search engine, it allows us to basically take our vendors that actually do business with us and we, have, we actually put their, their business at the top. And because we want, like I said, we want them to take them to the next level and basically but being a partner with us mm -hmm. allows us to help them take it to the next level. That is awesome. So what have been some of the highlights so far? Um, some of the highlights so far, I had to spend, I spent like about mm, 20 hours watching um, videos on YouTube and I actually had to create a, a website. And from those videos, I actually was able to 